lot of confusion around stretching intensities. Most people think that the greater the stretch, the better the results, when really the opposite is true. Now, when you're stretching, you want to stretch at a lower intensity so that we can release that stretch reflex. So in the other video, we talked about um, the stretch reflex that contracts the muscle to protect itself. And when it's less than a 30% intensity, the muscle sends a signal to the brain and back to the muscle to elongate and lengthen. Now, what happens when you stretch at a greater than 50% intensity or anywhere from 40 to 70% intensity? That stretch reflex never actually relaxes. And so what happens is you end up tearing the muscle. Where you tear it is you tear it between the junction of the muscle and the tendon. So the tendon is what attaches the muscle to the bone, and it's a lot stronger than the muscle. So what will happen is that stretch reflex is contracted, and now you're tearing at the tendon between the junction of the tendon and the muscle. So you're causing more tightness, more inflammation, and you're not getting the results of what the goal is, which is to stretch and elongate the muscles. So when it comes to stretching, my rule is it's always a 30% intensity. And a minimum of 30 seconds. You can hold it for longer than 30, but the stretch reflex takes 20 seconds to relax. So you want to do a minimum of 30 seconds at 30% intensity. So I'm Ashley at bodybydesign.ca if you have any other questions.